the first ever live streamed Honor Orchestra concert. Here we are, May 4th, 2021, and we have had to be very creative uh, pulling these kids together and enabling them to play music in the same room, in the same space. Just a very quick explanation. Uh, we auditioned the students over Zoom and they submitted some recordings. Then all the way up until January, we were doing everything via Zoom and we had some awesome helpers that we'll recognize after the students are playing. And then we started to do things hybrid. So we had half of the orchestra in person on this stage distance and the other half on Zoom. And then we would switch every week. We did that for a while. And then finally, about a month ago, we all were able to be together as metrics changed a little bit and requirements. We had everybody distanced and masked on stage together. And I tell you, the other teachers and I were just amazed by how that really brought the music to life and how well the students did playing together. So any parents that are there out there, thank you so much for allowing your child to participate this year and for making this opportunity possible for them. We really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Laura Bolden, and I am the orchestra teacher at North Middle School. You'll also see Tommy Moore. She is the teacher at South Middle School, and there she is right there. And then Krista DeBolt, who is the Grants Pass High School orchestra teacher. We divide the conducting responsibilities. And there's Krista DeBolt. So, on with the show. We're going to start with Mythos by Soon Hee Eagle.
I decided that, you know, as the sports teams have hand applause, we probably should do the same. So, excellent job, students. Excellent job. So, our next piece called Mummers by Merle Isaac features uh, our bass player, Lindsay. And I would like to have, uh, while she's moving up here, I'd like to recognize each section. So obviously, Lindsay's our bass player. Cellos, go ahead and stand. There are the cellos. Go ahead, you can wave to your audience if you want to. Great, and then violas. Why don't you guys stand and wave to your audience? There are viola players. And then we have a mix of violins. So we have, let's do with violins. Uh, second violin first. Go ahead, stand and wave. And then first violins. Okay, great. Looks like we are ready to go. Orchestra, it is tradition to foot shuffle for our soloists, so if we can give them like, a foot shuffle. So as I had mentioned, we had the orchestra split in half. So this next piece we did with the older half of the orchestra, and it features our cello section. It is called Cellos Olay by Richard Meyer.
They are doing this in, during a pandemic and during uh, comprehensive distance learning. It is amazing. You guys have done such a good job. And it makes us as teachers so proud and happy to work with you. And that brings me to our last piece, which is called Dia de Alegria, Day of Joy, written by Bob Phillips.
right now. So we have some very special awards for uh, everybody. And I think, Mrs. Bowman, do we want to recognize our helpers first? Yeah. Did you want to? Uh, maybe we should let them go. Okay, yes, we have finished the music portion of the concert. And so what's remaining is just the awards for the students. So if you are uh, tuned in for the music, thank you so much. We appreciate the support. Um, next, we would like to recognize all the helpers. Mrs. Bolden had mentioned that we were totally online until January. So we had several people that were online with us every week helping the kids in sectionals or in small groups. Um, two of them are... Uh, my high school kids, Dalton Burchett, helped the viola players each week, and Adam Gross helped the cello players each week, and we so much appreciate the work they did for us. Actually, why don't we have them here, Dalton and Adam? Thank you. And then we also had uh, Kendra the Bull, who lived Oh, dang it, sorry. Kendra Walker, <laughs> she's my daughter. She got married, I can't remember these things. Uh, Kendra Walker, she lives in California. She is a violinist and she uh, helped us each week with the violin section. So we have a special gift for her that we will give her next time we see her, or I see her, in case my be. Give Kendra Walker a hand. Hobbs, that's her last name, correct? Can you come on up? Mindy is a violinist. She has helped us in person since January, and we so appreciate her work with us. She's worked with us the last several years. Uh, she sat in on rehearsals and played the violin parts for us uh, several weeks. So thank you, Mrs. Hobbs. I did want to mention Leah Sma. She's a bass player. She helped us over Zoom several weeks in a row. Uh, when we see Leah, we have a nice gift for her. Let's give Leah Sma a hand. <laughs> Jack Van Manen. Jack Van Manen is a cellist. We got lucky in that he uh, has gotten to be in person with us this spring. He helped us both over Zoom and the last couple weeks in person. He is a cellist. Thank you so much to Zach Van Manen. Uh, Mrs. Alden. We have a special gift for Mrs. Alden. She has been behind the scenes filming uh, tonight, so uh, we can give each orchestra family a keepsake video for them. So thank you so much to Mrs. Alden for all of her work with the videotaping and the camera angles and everything. So thank you so much to Mrs. Alden. time you guys have been waiting for, right? <laughs> Did you want to announce names, Mrs. Bolden? I'm sorry. Are you announcing names? Sure. Okay, so first I would like to acknowledge there are a few kids that could not be here tonight. Uh, one Two more sixth graders, Ross Potter and Carter Moss. So Ross plays viola and Carter plays cello. Uh, one is a seventh grader, Emma Moss, who also plays cello. And uh, an eighth grader, Elsie Moss. Uh, so we miss them quite a bit tonight, but I wanted to acknowledge them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is there's some students who've been a part of this before, and uh, it's going to be different. We're not going to have you walk up to get your certificates. What we're doing is by grade first and by section. 
So they're already arranged. So you have the six here. So this is the same. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have them stand and then they'll take them their certificate. So the first one is Kendra Johnston. <laughs> Lauren Grove. Hunter <laughs> Disraeli. Sarah Robinson. And Emmy Randall. Also James Anders. Oh, hold on. You can hang on there, James. Okay. You, I put you in the wrong pile. Uh, Brendan Gamble. And Andrew Jensen, all in our television. Um, this is to both pointed out. I should mention that for the sixth graders, their experience with honor orchestra, because of the way things were this year, it was their very first time playing in an orchestra seated with different sections going up because we missed that whole part of their fifth grade year when we start to, they start to experience that. So they really learned quickly and we're so especially proud of those sixth graders making so many adjustments. Okay, our seventh graders. So in the violin section, Mia Norman, <laughs> Lauren Pratt, yes, Lauren Pratt, <laughs> Kendall Jernigan, <laughs> Aiden Taylor, <laughs> Benjamin Varro. And then our violas, Addie Sanborn, Ariana Curtis, and then our cellists are James Anderson and Tom Calvert. lot of eighth graders in this year. And first I'd like to recognize those who we are so happy decided to join us their last year here. And uh, we have some first year students in honor orchestra. The first is Savannah Ransom. And Keely McIntyre. Viola section, Caitlin Bayer. Okay, so eighth grade students who have been with us for two years. So we got almost the full year last year in, and then this year. We have uh, Elsie Moss, as I mentioned, who's absent today. Also, Kate Ledesma. Bailey Swanson. Also viola player Sean Jones. And you saw her up here earlier, Lindsay Waggerly on the bass. Okay, we have four students. Uh, who have been a part of this honor orchestra for three years. And I have to say, they have seen the most interesting combination in three years that we have ever had in honor orchestra. Usually it's kind of click, click, click. We have a pattern of doing things. 
and they have really adapted well. We're so glad that they have stuck through it all three years. Taylor Weber. Ileana Cole. Kate Galley. And Will Bolden. following protocol, it's okay. <laughs> so, one more round of applause for everybody. If you guys can see and make this very special for us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.